My name is Brad King. I'm a professor at Michigan Tech University, and at heart I'm a space guy, and I do plasma experiments related to spacecraft propulsion. Most magnets that we're familiar with are solid pieces. They're, they're rigid pieces and we stick them on our refrigerator. But the work that I do, I work with magnets that are made out of liquid, they're made out of fluid. So while the magnet is attracted to another object, the forces also cause the magnetic liquid itself to deform. And those deformations can take on some interesting shapes, interesting geometries, and in our case, we can manipulate those to turn it into a type of spacecraft thruster. An ionic liquid ferrofluid has two aspects. An ionic liquid is a liquid that's made completely of ions. It's a, it's a liquid salt. We don't need to make the ions through electron impact collisions or other electrical discharges. The ions are already there in their natural state. With a ferrofluid, we take small pieces of iron on the nanometer scale and dissolve them into a fluid. So the fluid is both electric and magnetic. Probably the most interesting aspect of the ionic liquid ferrofluid is this combined magneto-electrostatic instability that we excite. If you put a magnet underneath it, it forms this beautiful hedgehog-like structure of many, many peaks all aligned. What we do is then apply a strong electric field to that array of peaks, and each one of those peaks will emit an individual micro-ion jet. It's completely feasible now to make a spacecraft the size of your smartphone because we can borrow all the components that are there from a smartphone. It's got GPS, it's got cameras, it's got memory. It doesn't have a microion thruster. So ionic liquid ferrofluids, in the way we're using them, could possibly be manipulated to form as an ion thruster that's about the size of your thumbnail. If successful, ionic liquid ferrofluid thrusters will be superior to plasma thrusters at the micro scale. Conventional plasma thrusters use gas phase ionization. They take a gaseous propellant, they bombard it with electrons, they create a plasma and eject it. If you try to shrink that device down to the micro scale, the gas density has to go up, the magnetic fields have to go up. The ionic liquid ferrofluid thruster doesn't use any gas phase. The thruster is made out of its own propellant. We all hope that our research will contribute to society and that's what gets us up in the morning. If we're successful, the most crucial contribution we might make is that we may enable small, inexpensive satellites to be mass produced. Uh, it could enable better remote sensing and climate modeling. There's three billion people in the world that don't have internet connectivity. A lot of these things can be enabled by small satellites and small satellites need propulsion. We often come up with great ideas in the laboratory or over a beer or at a restaurant only to go home and find a 20-year-old paper that somebody's already done that. This was one of those ideas that we still haven't found a paper that somebody has already done. So we get to come in every day and know that we're doing something different.